So you've created a detailed 3D model using Reality Capture, and now you need to share it with others. With Nira, it's super easy to securely share your 3D models with billions of triangles and hundreds of ultra high resolution textures. You can also include the camera alignment data and the source photographs for future reference or for virtual inspection. Let me show you how. First, you'll wanna make sure you're using the latest version of Reality Capture. Export as you normally do. From the Reconstruction tab, click Model, pick a file name, and then choose OBJ as the file type. Within the Export dialog, you have the option to disable the Reality Capture info file. Uploading the RC info file is harmless, so you can choose to keep this on, but I typically choose no to keep things a little less messy. Other than that, there are just four other settings that you'll want to change from the defaults. Uh, so you'll want to have Save Mesh by Parts and say Yes. Uh, vertex Colors will set to No. Number Format will set to Decimal 6. And then the Texture Pixel Format will be 24-bit uh, BGR. Make note, I left the coordinate system as the default, which is the grid plane. I'll expand this dialog so you can pause and match the same settings for future versions of Reality Capture if they choose to change the default settings to what they are now. The next step, which is optional, is to output the camera data. For that, jump over to the Alignment tab, click Registration, then choose Internal External Camera Parameters. Set a file name. I usually like to save this as Asset Name and then underscore Cameras. This CSV file is an ASCII file that lists all the photos registered for the exported asset. Your photographs must be in the JPEG format in order for them to work as photos in Nira. We'll provide support for other file types later, but for now, please use JPEG only. If you capture in RAW and use those RAW photos in Reality Capture, or if you converted them from RAW to TIFF or PNG, for example, you'll need to convert them yet again to JPEG and then do a find and replace within the CSV file using a text editor so that it references JPEG instead of whatever file type you originally used in Reality Capture. Another note, DGI UAVs can produce photos with the exact file name spread across multiple folders. This can cause issues, so the best strategy is to organize and rename all of your photos before you even start your Reality Capture project. A common technique is to use a free Windows utility to rename your photos based on capture day and time. That's it. All that's left to do is just upload all of your files into your Nier account by simply dragging and dropping them into the browser. Before the upload starts, you're asked for an asset name and to pick an asset type. For assets coming from Reality Capture, you'll want to pick between either photogrammetry or PBR. Photogrammetry will make the most sense and is strongly recommended. Only use the PBR if you have generated normal maps using the Reality Capture Texture Projection Tool. Nier is extremely fast at rendering lots of triangles, so I suggest that you preserve the details of your mesh as triangles versus using a lower triangle mesh with normal maps. Choosing photogrammetry will also provide additional benefits like improved load times. If you do use the Reality Capture Texture Projection Tool, I'll note that Nier currently ignores displacement maps, so don't bother uploading them if you happen to create displacement maps within Reality Capture. Once all your files have finished uploading, you can click on the thumbnail to view and navigate around your model using the navigation tools on the left side toolbar. The keys W, A, S, D, and even Q and E will let you fly around your model like a UAV. That works really well for building inspections. You can also double click to move and zoom around and to send your camera. Nero also has a simple distance and area measurement tool that can be found using the right click menu. Two points for distance, three or more points for area. Sometimes the mesh or texture detail is still not high enough, so it can be useful to reference the photographs by clicking the Show Photos button. Click on any part of the 3D mesh and the photographs will automatically sort based on whatever area of the mesh that you happen to click. By the way, all of the photos and the license to process this asset is generously made available as a free download by Reality Capture. That's pretty much it for getting your Reality Capture models into Nira. All that is left to do is to enable sharing within the sharing options. Share it privately with another team member or make it available to anyone by enabling the publicly accessible option and sending them the URL. Recipients won't need a login or a fancy computer to view your very highest resolution meshes, textures, and photos. Please let us know if you have any questions. Soon I'll post some tips and tricks on how to get the best quality meshes and textures from within Reality Capture, so be sure to subscribe to catch that. Thanks for watching.